Hey guys, this is Kevin Bergeron with RSC Thermal, and today I'm going to be showing you how to select an ERV using RenewAir's Chorus program. Before we select an ERV, we need to figure out our ventilation airflow. So to figure that out, just head on over to the last video we posted titled, How to Calculate Ventilation Airflow. Once we get that airflow calculated, we're going to be looking at our project homepage and going through these tabs on the left. First thing we want to look at is our project info page. Just give your project a name, and if you want to fill out this information on the right, you can, although it is not required. The next tab we're going to be looking at is our design conditions tab. This is where the project is located, so use the drop downs here to best find the closest spot to your project. In our case, we're in Boston, Massachusetts. And as you can see, all this data auto-populated here. You can also change this if it doesn't match what you want to use for design conditions, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to leave it as it is. The next tab over here is the unit selection tab. Since we know what our airflow is, we can select the unit by airflow. If you're using the ventilation calculator, once you figure out how much airflow you need, that is going to be shown here, you can also enter it down this way although it does look exactly like the by airflow tab. So for this example, we're going to be looking for an ERV that can output an intake 1000 CFM at a 0.5 static pressure rating. Once you enter in that data, you're going to want to filter your results by your ERV type. Uh, the most common ERV type in this case is the unitary four duct, which is what we're looking at here but you can choose different ones if you're trying to look for a different type of ERV. As you can see, the program recommended two different ERVs. We have a recommended ERV and an alternative ERV. The recommended one is gonna be a little bit more price conscientious, whereas the alternative ERV is usually a little bit better with uh, performance when it comes to heat transfer. Um, for this case, I'm going to choose the recommended ERV, and this is going to bring us into our unit configuration page. So all this page is is the different options and accessories that you can put on this unit. This is where we're going to choose all of those. So to start off, we got to give our ERV a name. I'm going to call it ERV1. We don't have to fill out these, but for the sake of you know keep everything nice and organized, I'm going to say we're installing this in the attic of the building and we're going to ventilate the foyer. Down below you'll see our selected series and model which is reflected from the last page that we just chose. It is an HE 1.5X. Next to that you'll see installation location. This is whether or not the unit is going to be installed inside the building or outdoors. As you can see I chose attic as a location so we'll keep it as an indoor unit. Below that, you'll see different airflow orientations. Um, this is going to depend on which type of unit you choose. As you can see, outdoor units have different airflow orientations than indoor units. Um, but for this one, I'm just going to choose the horizontal airflow. Now, each one of the sections you'll go through right here, there will be a customized unit um, section. You can enter in any customizations that pertains to that section. It's not required to do so, but if you're thinking about something that you want to customize, feel free to enter it in right here and Renewer will get to you and let you know if you can do that. So moving through the tabs, now we're on our fan selection. This is just going to deal with the type of motor and voltage that we're working with. So for this example, I'll just do 208, 230, single phase, um, and I'll choose EC motors. Down below, we're going to input our airflow and design static like we did before. And this is going to give us some you know, data as well. This isn't required, although it does produce a nice little fan curve right here, which can be printed out. And I'll get into that in a later video. Moving along, the next tab is ERV performance. This is just going to show some data based off of our design conditions. Um, like I said, it's not required to put in your design conditions, but it does give you this nice data that you can print out later on. Now we're on to electrical and controls. Um, since we chose EC motors previously for our fans, it's going to auto-populate this terminal strip for EC motors. 
if we didn't choose EC motors and we just went with a standard motor offering, you would see that that EC motor terminal strip disappears and we can select between um, contactors for common fan control or independent blower control. Just for this one, we're gonna go back and re-choose the EC motor. Moving through this page, you'll see different disconnect we can choose, um, different unit controls, if you wanna bypass or not, different options for isolation damper combinations. Um, for this example, I'll just choose motorized dampers for both airstreams. Since we're at the bottom of the page, we'll move on to the filter section. All this section is asking for this unit is if we're, we want to include a filter monitor. Basically, that's gonna tell us when our filters start to get dirty. So we'll include that and move to construction. In construction, we're gonna choose if we want single or double walls, a different type of paint on the unit. Once we get to unit accessories, um, this isn't totally necessary for you know, selecting a specific ERV. This is more for like quoting and stuff like that if we wanna include different controls or a uh, duct heater or gas furnace that we can put in line with that ERV. Um, I'll get into that in a later video, but for now we're gonna leave this blank, but just so you know, this is where you go for all of that. The next tab is our unit summary. This is just outlining the um, options that we chose in the previous steps, and it shows the full model number as well. If you're satisfied with what you chose, just hit save and return to project, and it'll bring you back to the project homepage. And here you can see is the unit that we selected. And that's how you select a unit based off of airflow. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Our office number is 781-320-9910. Thanks guys.